as an artist, I feel like the role of the artist uh, versus the role of someone who has the ability to create art um, is that you want it to be pure. Like the motive for an artist is to create art. There's this famous phrase, the best is the enemy of the, of the good. It's not true. It's okay to be a crap modern dancer doing crap choreography if you get satisfaction out of it, as long as you don't pretend that people ought to pay money to see you. Uh, everyone wants to be artists, but the thing is, it's also to think to be artists or to want to be artists is two different kinds of things. But the meshing of those is really the question. Uh, and I think it's a, it's a critical question right now, especially given the digital age. I don't want just anyone <laughs> having, you know, the ability to hurt me with their art. I mean, every person has a potential for being an artist, but not necessarily that everyone is an artist. I think, especially in our age um, of pervasive visuals, it is important for a person who thinks of himself or herself as an artist to be visually um, literate. I think it's also a privilege to be an artist and I'm, I'm happy to be it and I think I'm taking the responsibility but also I'm enjoying the privilege. Um, certainly there is no criteria that uh, who is artist, who is not artist. No one can define. I think it's, it's in a way, it's a really personal issue that no one can define. I think getting into the whole construction of uh, hierarchies and who's an artist, who's not an artist, um, especially in a, I think is, to me is, is absolutely, well, it's a little absurd. It's a little absurd because of the fact that people make art. There's outsider art, there's insider art, there's high art, there's museum art, there's gallery art, there's street art, there's performance art, there's, you know, so art is art is art is art is art. Is art.